training as the grid forms up for the opening round of the 500cc World Championship. 22 laps of this 5.89 kilometer circuit here at Suzuka. Grand Prix 1, the new class, and in pole position, Texan Kevin Swans. He's already won this race riding the Lucky Strike Suzuki on three previous occasions. Alongside him on the front row, Homner, the Japanese rider riding a Yamaha. Doug Chandler, his teammate, Wayne Gardner, and Michael Doohan on the second row of the grid. Number two riding the Rothmans Honda, and they're underway. It's a tremendous start by Swans. Number 34, riding the Lucky Strike Suzuki, third in the championship last year, and Schwantz leads the way. Number 10, Doug Chandler, his new teammate in second place. Michael Doohan third, in fourth place, John Kaczynski, and it looks like Australian Wayne Gardner in fifth place, also riding a Rothmans Honda. No doubt about the leader, Schwantz leads. Chandler so impressive in the wet during practice. Fastest in Friday afternoon's qualifying session in second place. Two and number two. Gardner now up into fourth place, relegating Kaczynski to fifth. We look for world champion Wayne Rainey. We can't see him at the moment. No doubt about the leader. Schwantz, Chandler, Duan, Gardner, Kaczynski. Gardner, number five, fourth fastest at the moment. Tumbled in practice and injured his ankle. But determined to do well, as is Schwantz. Chandler, Duan, Gardner, Kaczynski. Number 17, Miguel de Hamel riding the Yamaha, also going well in his first ever 500cc Grand Prix. The conditions couldn't be worse, and there's Randy Mamola back in Grand Prix racing after a two years absence. At the back of that pack, riding the Budweiser Yamaha, and somebody's gone, it's go, oh, it's Crevier. The Spanish rider riding the Camsa Honda, he's gone. So Alex Crevier out of the race, Swan still leads. Chandler in second place. Gardner now up into third place, number five. Doohan fourth. Kaczynski fifth. Miguel de Hamel in sixth place. That's Kaczynski. But Chandler and Schwantz really riding very well indeed out in the front. Schwantz and Chandler and Gardner pushing them hard in third place. The two lucky strikes Suzuki's out in front. Gardner on the Rothmans Honda still in third place. Big, powerful machines. The ride is such difficult in conditions, and Gardner's gone. The 1987 world champion has crashed once again. He's down into the dirt. He tries to pick up the new bike. Doesn't look so new now, does it? Very second-hand indeed. Rips off the pieces of the fairing. But he's going to get back in the race. Surely not Gardner. And there we are, slow motion into the dirt. Before the bike has stopped, Gardner's already looking to get back in the race. And back in the race he goes. Wayne Gardner is back in the race. Pieces of the screen, pieces of the ferry. Oh, and Wayne Rainey's crashed. The current world champion is out of the race, number one. The Morbury Yamaha has gone. Where is Rainey? Is he okay? But Wayne Rainey out of the race, and there he is. So, the 1991, the 1990 world champion out of the race. Back at the front, Schwantz leads. His new teammate, Doug Chandler pushing him all the way and this is Gardner in very last place but back in the race surely no world championship points for Wayne Gardner what a disastrous opening round of the season for him and another faller is De Hamel they're going down like flies at the moment Miguel De Hamel what a dreadful debut for him in the 500cc class the French Canadians gone, but what a race at the front. Doohan now closing on the two lucky strikes. Suzuki's riding the Rothmans Honda, and Kaczynski also in there on the Marlboro Yamaha. And Chandler leads. Doug Chandler gets in front of his teammate Kevin Schwantz. Michael Doohan still in third place, and John Kaczynski fourth. They break for the chicane. Doohan going up the outside now of Schwantz. Schwantz blocks him. Chandler number ten leads. Schwantz in second place. Doohan third. And Kaczynski looking very threatening indeed in fourth place. So 26-year-old Doug Chandler leads in second place Kevin Swans, in third place Michael Doohan and fourth place John Kaczynski. But Chandler's pulling away from the rest of the field. What a ride, his debut ride for the Lucky Strike Suzuki team. Only his second year of Grand Prix racing and Doohan's got up the inside of Swans. Doohan in second place, Swans relegated to third. Swans now surely going to get after Doug Chandler in front of him. Duano almost didn't qualify because of the rain in that final qualifying session. Second in the World Championship last year. Only his fourth season of Grand Prix racing, he's just starting. Tipped by many as a future world champion, he's up into second place. And that's the gap. Chandler leads, number 10. 
26-year-old Californian, former USA Superbike champion, doing second place. Kaczynski up into third, Swanson relegated to fourth. Chandler number 10, doing second, Kaczynski third, Swans fourth. So what a battle at the front between these four riders in appalling conditions. Chandler still leads. Doohan closing all the time. Kaczynski in third place. Schwantz four. Schwantz 18 Grand Prix victories to his credit. But at the moment having a tough old time. And that's the gap. Chandler what a 20 yard advantage over Doohan. They're at the hairpin. Oh and Kaczynski's gone. Kaczynski's gone at the hairpin. The former 250cc world champion, he's trying to pick up the bike, he's trying to do a Wayne Gardner. And back in the pits, Kenny Roberts, the team manager, can only look at the monitors and keep his fingers crossed. And Doohan's now closing, closing all the time on Chandler. Visibly closing in the wet there. Doohan on the outside, Chandler on the inside. Round the spoon into the fastest part of the circuit. It'll be interesting to compare the speed of the Suzuki and the Honda here. And following the demise of Kaczynski, Shinichi Ito, the Japanese rider, is up into fourth place. What a battle at the front. Doohan leads for the first time in this race. Michael Doohan takes the lead. The Australian riding the Rothman Honda leads. In second place, Doug Chanda, the Californian on the Lucky Strike Suzuki. They break hard for the chicane. Little twitch of the front wheel there from Doohan. Right and left. That familiar style of Michael Doohan all over the bike as he goes round the long right hander into the start and finish straight. Doohan leads. Chandra in second place. And Doohan just opening up a slight advantage. And Swans dropping back in third place. The new NSR Rothmans Honda. Doohan told us before the race it was a lot more rider friendly. There couldn't be a better test for man and the machine in these appalling conditions around the Suzuka circuit. 22 laps, the test of anybody. But Chandler, if anything, is hanging onto the back wheel of Doohan. A tremendous Grand Prix ride. A debut ride in the Lucky Strike Suzuki team for Doug Chandler, the 26-year-old Californian. But Doohan, out in front. 20 World Championship points beckoning the Australian from the Gold Coast being tipped by many as the 1992 world champion. And don't forget, Wayne Rainey is out of the race. He's crashed. And Doohan, inch by inch, kilometre by kilometre, just prizing opening a slight advantage over Chandler. But Chandler surely would be delighted just to hang on to second place. That's the gap between the two leaders. Number two is Doohan and number 10 is Chandler. Round the hairpin. The water pouring off the back wheel of the Honda as Doohan accelerates away. And you've just caught a glimpse of Kevin Schwantz in third place. And Wayne Gardner now is beginning to plough his way back through the field. Would you believe it? Gardner never knows when to quit. Number five. Half the fairing hanging off, no screen, but Wayne Gardner is back in the race and fighting his way through the field. Just look at the rear seat of the Honda, tremendous dent there, but Gardner does not know when to quit. The 1987 world champion, one of the most popular riders on the Grand Prix scene, and he'll be delighted that his teammate Michael Doohan leads the race. Doohan starts his fourth year of Grand Prix racing. As I say, tipped by many as a favorite for the world championship, but surely after this ride, Doug Chandler, are we watching a future world champion in progress. Number 19 is Neil McKenzie. Number 52 there is Fujiwara. And we look for Gardner through the spray and here he comes. Gardner is carving great lumps out of this field. He was very last following his crash, but now he's back in the points and chasing after the Japanese riders and Scotsman Neil McKenzie in front of him. A truly remarkable ride by the 1987 world champion. Starting the season uninjured for the first time for a long time. But this is his teammate Doohan. 20 points beckon the 26 year old from the Gold Coast. And another faller. Number 33. 
That's Catalono, the Italian, riding a 500cc Yamaha. He's back in the race. And Donna Gardner, Wayne Gardner's wife, just cannot believe the performance of her husband. So Gardner closes on Ohishi in front of him. Neil McKenzie just in front of him also. Gardner now is chasing real big world championship points. And he's past Ohishi. It's McKenzie who's in front of him now. He's up into eighth place. And Gardner, no mood for hanging around. That's Fujiwara just in front of him. He's up the inside of Fujiwara at the head and they touch. Oh! Fujiwara holds the advantage. Gardner's foot goes down a shake of the head, but he hangs onto the bike. This man does not know when he's beaten. So he's got it all to do again. That doesn't worry Wayne Gardner. Oshishi in front of him. He's got up the inside. He's through. So Fujiwara. He's going to have another go at the Japanese rider. That's Fujiwara, number 52. Gardner, number five. Fujiwara in ninth place. Wayne Gardner in tenth place. And Neil McKenzie in eighth place in front of him. Nervous times for the team. McKenzie, Fujiwara, Gardner. And Gardner going to make his move up the inside of the chicane. He's got the advantage on the brake, surely. He's done it. Gardner's through. What a ride by Wayne Gardner. Now there's Neil McKenzie in front of him. Who knows where he's going to finish up in this race? McKenzie 19, Gardner number five. They twitch their way through that long right-hander to the start and finish straight. Gardner, no screen to protect him from the rain, but he's pulling up now behind Neil McKenzie, the Scotsman riding the Yamaha. Mackenzie happily back into full-time Grand Prix racing. But he's about to receive the treatment that most of the riders have in this race. And Gardner chasing sixth place. Is there a gap there for him? No, but surely he's going to get past Mackenzie any moment now. And he's gone up the outside. Gardner up into sixth place. Mackenzie relegated to seventh. In front of him now, Randy Mimola in fifth place. Surely Gardner can't catch him. Well, a great Grand Prix ride from a gutsy Grand Prix competitor, Wayne Gardner. No screen, bits of fairing hanging off. It doesn't stop him. He's now up into sixth place. This is Gardner. Mackenzie getting a bit of a toe. Gardner sixth. Mackenzie seventh. And the leader, Michael Doohan, unaware of all the drama behind him. Down the main start and finish straight. The 26-year-old. Delighted with the performance during testing of the new NSR Rothmans Honda. Not so happy during practice when he almost didn't qualify. And that shower of rain in the final qualifying session almost caught him out. But Michael doing at the front and looking very, very good indeed. His teammate Wayne Gardner having the ride of a lifetime. He's got Randy Mamola in his sights. Gardner in sixth place. And there's Randy Mamola, number eight, on the Budweiser Yamaha. And Gardner closes all the time. Mamola, second in the world 500cc championship on no less than four occasions. Back in Grand Prix racing after a two year absence. But Gardner closes all the time. Mamola, eight. Gardner, five. Two of the most experienced men in Grand Prix racing. Two of the most popular men in Grand Prix racing. And Gardner's not going to wait. Oh, and Gardner's gone. Oh, what a disaster. Oh, and he crashes into the foam. And Gardner's hurt himself. Oh, what a disaster for the Australian. Wayne Gardner's race ends in disastrous style. Gardner obviously in all sorts of problems. He loses the front end of the Rothmans Honda. He slides across the track and he goes into the barrier feet first. Oh. What a sad, sad end to a great ride. And Gardner obviously in terrible pain. And the picture in his pits says it all. The leader, Michael Doohan, surely now on his way to a maximum 20 points at the opening 500cc Grand Prix of the season. Doohan, very impressive in the dry practice sessions. 
equally impressive in this very wet race. He's chasing his fifth Grand Prix victory. Surely now he's on his way to winning the opening round of the World 500cc Championship. And if anything, the conditions are getting worse. The Doohan paying scant regard to the conditions. His Michelin tyres hanging on to the track well. He looks well in control of the situation. Surely now on his way to Grand Prix victory number five for the 26-year-old from the Gold Coast of Australia. Concentrating hard as the race draws to a close. That familiar style accelerates away. Just a little twitch at the rear end of the Honda there. I think we, we can forgive him for that. The puddle still going across the track. Sits up and breaks. A familiar left knee comes out, just kisses the track as he goes round. A left-hander. Accelerates away. Spray once again kicking up from the rear Michelin tyre of the NSR. Rothmans Honda now on the fastest part of the circuit. 170, 175 miles an hour before he sits up for the left-hander. Two years ago, of course, Doohan went down here, brought down world champion Eddie Lawson at the same bend. No such problems in 1992. Into the chicane. Flicks it right, flicks it left. Flicks it right again for the long right-hander down the hill towards the chequered flag. The chequered flag now being readied for Michael Doohan. And Michael Doohan wins the Japanese Grand Prix. The opening round of the World 500cc Championship. Puts his hand in the air. I'm sure he's glad it's all over in such appalling conditions. But a 20-point maximum for Michael Doohan and a great ride by this man, number 10, Doug Chandler. 15 World Championship points from the Californian riding the Lucky Strike Suzuki. No wonder he's pleased. The Australian flag proudly displayed by Doohan as he comes back into the pits. Doohan on the rostrum, waves to the crowd. A smile from Michael Doohan alongside him, Doug Chandler. And alongside them on the right-hand side, a bit of a wry smile there from Kevin Swans. But the champagne flows for 26-year-old Australian Michael Doohan. Confirmation, Doohan wins. Chandler in second place, Schwantz third, Ito fourth, and a great return to Grand Prix racing in fifth place by Californian Randy Mamola.